The new study, published in Virus Evolution, has identified when and how the first human ancestor likely contracted genital herpes. The team used fossil data showing where and when ancient people were likely present in Africa, the estimated range for ancestral chimpanzees in the tropical rainforest, and viral genetics to model the history of the virus. They already knew that HSV2, the virus responsible for genital herpes, probably entered early humans before they left Africa. And that initial entry would have enabled its spread to wherever they migrated. But no one knew exactly when or how the virus traveled from chimpanzees to humans. Trending, Russia sends Navy fleet destroyers to Pacific in new show of strength Simon Underdown, an anthropologist at Oxford University and lead study author, told Newsweek that just one infected ancient human ancestor could have caused this virus to spread throughout the entire species. We know a lot of these species did not have large population sizes and from a biological point of view it would only need one infection to jump across, said Underdown. Don't miss, Patriots could finish behind Jets if weird NFL season continues and P. Boise was probably spending time in the same places as Homo erectus, our ancestor, which emerged about 2 million years ago. Lake Turkana, in Kenya, has evidence of both populations from around the same time. Homo erectus did a great deal of hunting and butchering, and are the first known species that looked recognizably human. Underdown and colleagues think that Homo erectus hunted and ate an infected P. boise, setting the stage for many early relationship confessions to come. Most popular, watch, Las Vegas attack witnesses flee deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history The study offers a unique look at how the most common sexually transmitted disease first entered our population. The disease is particularly widespread in Central and East Africa, a region with close ties to human origins. Although most individuals with HSV2 infections never show any symptoms, the virus can sometimes cause painful blisters in the genital area. There is no cure for the virus, but symptoms can be managed with medication. More from Newsweek.